Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I'll go straight. Okay, this is my first time to do this kind of uh, workshop in the Netherlands. And I'm very happy and I'm very glad to hear that so many people, either in this country or in the neighboring countries, have already been doing Paidalajin. So I will try my best to simply brief the theory about this simple technique. So Paidalajin self-healing. Self-healing means you do it yourself. Okay? Paida and Lajin both are shown on this picture. See? This, this is our first workshop in Germany. You see the people are doing this on the knee. That is Paida. Means slapping. Lajin means stretching. You just lie on the bench. Lifting one leg up. Then you begin. It's very simple. But I have to make it very clear every time from the very beginning, this is not a medical treatment, which has nothing to do with medicine, surgery, nothing. Okay? You don't need a license to do this. Nor do you need a license to lie on a bench and lift one leg up. It's it's even simpler than yoga, than any sports you've ever, you know, done. Why do we do this self-healing? It's all because of disease. Okay, now the big issue is what is the disease? See, we are given thousands of names. Diabetes, cancer, hypertension, many, many different names. So what does all this disease mean? Does it, what does it mean? Disease means Disease. See, even the English word. So, in another word, you can say it's blocked, stagnated. Okay? Then, unbalanced. See, if it is unbalanced, it's a problem. Even the society, if the human society is unbalanced, you got chaos, you got revolution. If the nature is unbalanced, you've got all kinds of natural disasters like tornadoes, earthquake, or a human body is unbalanced, yin and yang unbalanced, you've got disease. So we normally don't use the names, we just it's blocked. So we can make a conclusion in this simple way. All diseases, in spite of all the different names, are caused by one thing, blockage of meridian, right? So it's blocked. This is very crucial, okay, since all diseases are caused by one thing, blockage, then if you do unblocking, you heal all diseases. Very, very crucial here. Now, if you look at all this kind of natural methods, yoga, tai chi, you know, pai da, lajin included, they are doing one thing, unblocking the blockages. Even for the herbal diseases, oh, for the herbal medicine you use, they are doing the same thing. Acupuncture, carping, massage, chiropractic, bone setting, they are doing the same thing. I'm blocking, I'm blocking, okay. This is a typical case from Berlin, Germany, okay, several, just four or five years ago, okay. We had a party at a friend's home. So one lady got uh, frozen shoulders. So for frozen shoulders, it's a normal disease, right? What do you do? You have many ways. You can do acupuncture, massage. You, you can even do a surgery. But what is the simplest and the most effective way? We just do slapping. Where to slap? Just on the affected area, all over. That's it. So we did on this lady. For half an hour, then raise up. So when I tour India, see, that's in Pondicherry. It's a very beautiful city, okay? Did you ever see the life of Pi? That's the city, okay? When I did a seminar like this, exactly like now, one lady said, I got a problem, frozen shoulders. That's show me. This is what she showed us, you see, like this. One arm cannot, couldn't be raised up. That's okay, we, we begin to do the lajin and then paida. 
Exactly the same thing every time. So maybe half an hour later, raised up. It's like this. Nothing in particular. Don't ever make it complicated. But of course, you have to go through the pain. Yeah. That's still in Pondicherry. This is on my first trip to Pondicherry. And this is the first lodging bench ever made in India. <laughs> This is my third trip to India. It's for cooperation with the Diabetes Research Center. But in that diabetes group, two people got Parkinson. This is one of them. He could only walk like this, not like this. So after doing this, he could walk normally. And also he could raise up his, his arms easily. See, this, also, this photo also appeared in the local newspaper. He couldn't do this before, you know, it's not so easy. But now, you know, he, he can do it easily. That's in high school, Tibetan high school in Mysore. That's also in India. See, for school kids, why, why should they do this? They have many problems. Neck problems, lower back problems, eye problems. And for the, for the girls, they have many period problems. Pains or irregular stuff. Just do stretching, slapping, then it's gone. So they all love it. Even for the llamas. <laughs> this is also in Mysore. It's a big square. I don't know, several thousand llamas together with them pile the lighting. It's like a thunder. It's beautiful. Boom, boom, boom. Imagine several thousand people do Paida together. Because they do a lot of meditation every day. Very interesting. I traveled to so many different places. I've been to many monasteries too. They have a lot of problems. Lower back pain, knee pain, frozen shoulders. So I say, okay, simple. You just do this, stretching. Then it not only heal the problems, but also increase their meditation. We try this on meditation group, on the yoga group, on the Buddhist group, Taoist group. On the people who regularly do meditation and that kind of kundalini thing, it's just good for all of them. Yeah. <coughs> These are a group of TCM students, uh, TCM doctors, traditional Chinese medical doctors. They invited me to a dinner. They said, "Oh, we heard of Pai Dala Jin." I said, "Okay, you guys are experts on meridian systems. So now we have a try. This is at the dining table." This is all Chinese doctors. I say, you try here. They know here this is where the meridian of the heart and the pericardium go through. If you get sa, sa means poisoned blood. That means you got a heart problem. So we did all this together. Every single one of them got heart disease. Isn't that weird? No, this is very natural because everyone has heart disease. You see that? What is that? That is sa, okay? Sa means poisoned blood. This we will have, we we'll have to talk a lot during the following two days, okay? Many people have misunderstanding about Sa. Why? When we say Paida and the Lajin, this is detox. So they always take it for granted that cleaning or cleansing is moving garbage from here to another place. That's their understanding. So they say, okay, when you do this, you might form a clock. Or if you already have a clock, that kind of thing will move in your body, they will get another you know, stroke or heart attack. That's their understanding. Especially for those who have some knowledge about Chinese medicine or Western medicine. They think this is very dangerous. I say this is a totally a misunderstanding about Sa or about Pyrologin. Sa is a character. It's, it's in Chinese language. It's used for thousands of years, okay? So that means this ph phenomenon has been there for thousands of years. But so far, in another language, nine Chinese language, I haven't found out anything about this yet. So this is my translation, poisoned blood, which means you got poison or toxin in the blood. So when we say detoxification, it's not just a physical detox, no. It's not only that, but including that. So when we say detox detoxification, 
by doing Paidalajin. First of all, it's a physical action. You see, this is physical. Stretching is also physical, right? But this is very, very crucial. This physical action will cause not only physical changes, but also chemical and the biological changes. You see the point there? So when you see Sa, that means the filtering has happened. When you do this, the energy will make all kinds of changes, including hormone changes in your body. So all this garbage or toxins, they will be filtered out in the form of Sa. It has been changed in such a beautiful form that it can be driven out of your body physically, chemically, and biologically. Where have they gone? That's another issue. Okay, first of all, through the pores, which is the biggest exit of your body, everywhere, see, on your skin. You can even smell that kind of strange things from your body. You will see. Secondly, it's from the sweat. See, sweat. The water will get it out. And also from your tears, nose water. And of course, two big exits from your pooping and the urination. So you can see, every single exit of your body will be fully utilized for detox. But this time, it's not only just the physical action. It's all the biological and the, and the chemical changes. That, from that point, you understand, this is not from here, just move to there. Because it's changed. Even the molecules changed. It has been changed into such a small, small, teeny, teeny particle that it can be easily out of your body. Let's say the pore, you think, if you look at your, with your eyes, the pore is very tiny. But for the particles we have changed after doing Pythalajin, it's like a big airport. They can easily fly out. But our eyes are limited. We cannot see. Okay? So that's about Sa. This is a college student doing this. Young people, they also have this kind of big Sa. That's a very typical phenomenon showing your heart disease. Why? This, young people, why do they have heart disease? It's very simple. It's because of stress. Heart disease is 99% caused by stress. This is what I call the invisible injury. Why? Very simple. Sometimes one or two thousand people get together to listen to my speech. I say, okay, let's do Pai Da all together. Almost 99% of them have the Sa here. Then the question is, do we all have heart disease? The answer is yes, of course. Why? Because heart is the most frequently injured organ. It started from when? From the time you were born. Even if you're a little kid, if you're given one candy, your sisters are given two candies, you're hurt. See? Then you're in the school, other kids can have better, you know, school results than you do, then you're hurt. Or other girls have more beautiful skirts. Then you think, oh, why should I have a better one? Then you're in love. When you are, you know, 18s, 19s, you are, when, once you are in love, you see the word love, once you are in love, you are definitely hurt. So all the ladies in the whole world, when they are in love, they would speak the same thing. My heart is broken. They never say my foot is broken. <laughs> it's always the heart, you see. That kind of exchange between the feelings, the emotions, it's happening every day. You're always hurt. Of course, once you get married, you get a job, oh, all this stress from your job, from the family, from the kids, from the house, from the, everywhere. So the stress is a natural phenomenon. It's exactly the same as the natural happening. If you compare stress with the cold, it's the same. See, when you get cold, you get shrink. You get warm, open up, right? Stress is the same. We get stressed. So in one word, all the negative emotions will cause stress. So stress is always shrink. 
get harder and harder. That's why. But you cannot see with your eyes. See, you're hurt. If I curse you, I blame you, you're hurt. But you can see nothing. If you get a physical injury, you can see. But for that kind of hurt or injury, you can see nothing. It's like the software. See if the software is broken. You can see nothing. But you know the computer doesn't work anymore. So the invisible is far more important. We'll talk more about that. This is also a Germany workshop. So a little bit of explanation, because I know most of you are highly educated in the colleges or even higher institutions. So I, I, I have to, every time in this kind of seminar, explain in the scientific way. First of all, physics. This is the simplest way. The whole universe is composed of vibrations. Just different, OK? Even the object you see, they have a vibration. We all know our heart has a vibration. But most of us don't know every single cell has a vibration. Every organ, your kidney, your liver, they all have a vibration. But we cannot see. So the whole world, the whole universe is just of different vibration. Even the sound you hear now and the color you see, they are just of different vibration. Now, you have a look at the Pida Lajin. Pida, what is this? Vibration. What is Lajin? Vibration. So, if you look at this way, this is the Chinese character for medicine. Medicine is composed by two parts, grass, herbal, and then music. See, this is very interesting. When I talked this with a German musician in India, he was so surprised. He said, I'm a musician, I do the sound part, the music part. My wife is a herbalist. <laughs> Chinese medicine means herbal plus music. Why? Because every single herbal has a different vibration. So when you take the herbal stuff, this kind of vibration will cause a resonance in your body. That's how the healing happens. It's all through the physical vibrations. So now the Pidalajin, we do it in a direct way. You don't have to go through your stomach. You got stomach meridian, just slap on the stomach meridian. Then your stomach pain will be gone immediately. At least this is something you can learn today. See, stomach pain is a normal disease, right? Whenever you have a stomach problem, you just slap here. Because this is stomach, stomach meridian. You don't have to take any medicine because it's direct. Vibration. Physics. This is physics. Okay, this is very clear. So in one word, all the Chinese so-called medicine, even the herbal medicine, it's all about music. It's all about vibration. Then it's all about physics. This is not even chemical yet. Physics is more delicate, accurate than the chemical changes. This is also a conclusion made by a German physicist. When we talk about this in Germany. Every time we went to Germany, I would have a talk with him. What about biochemistry or even chemistry? This is a recent discovery. Several years ago, a group of scientists from Columbia University in New York discovered that the muscles and the bones of our body, which supposedly used for support our body, for supporting the body or making the movement, now also have the biggest endocrine functions. That is out of people's imagination. What does this mean? If you're given enough incentives, you will have chemical changes. Although that kind, of, that kind of incentive might be physical. But their conclusion has nothing to do with our exploration. Okay, here, and an English one, okay. See, the endocrine function, that's a new discovery. So they forecasted, this group of scientists, that in the near future, that this will be a new way, there will be a new way for healing the diabetic problems because they realized it can generate insulin. This is their discovery from the laboratories. While our discovery is that it will not only generate insulin, it virtually generate all the hormones you can never imagine known or unknown to you. While it also 
get rid of all the so-called bad hormones. And even stem cells. See, stem cells is also a hot topic. If you do this, the new good stem cells will be generated. That's why you, you see you slap on the knees or the frozen shoulders. It's like a destruction. But this is called what we call the limited destruction. In Chinese Taoism, there is a very famous sentence. No destruction, no construction. See, if you want to build a new big building here, you have to demolish the old shabby ones first. So here, you can see all the chemical changes will happen. They did this kind of test in the laboratory. While we have been doing this on millions of people, not thousands, millions of people all over the world. So we have all kinds of wonderful cases, including diabetes, and diabetes 1, diabetes 2. We have more to talk on that part. And their discovery is published in the Cell Magazine, August 2007, which you can check out from from internet, okay? Another explanation. Electromagnetics. This is also a very scientific explanation, okay? If I show you the photo, that would be clearer. Okay, if you look at this, this is how human beings look at their own bodies. The far right side, that kind of physical structure, that is how thousands of years ago people look at our bodies. It's all physical, okay? Now the three ones in the middle, this is the chemical and the biological body, which you can also see. And this is also why the pharmaceutical industry is based on biology and the chemistry. So you can see you take medicine, it works. But at the same time, you, you have all kinds of side effects. Okay? Now if you look at this one, this is called by the scientists electromagnetic field. Oh, in India, they call it oral system. So this is all about vibration. You cannot see with your eyes, yet you can check it out with all kinds of machines. Or some people with high frequency, they can see with their eyes, very few people. So this part is what I call the invisible part. It's the software part. But the invisible system is far more important than the visible system. You look at the computer. The hardware you can see clearly, but the software you can see nothing. See? With your eyes. If you look at the sun and the moon, you can see they move every day. But can you see the gravity in between? Can you see the tracks on which they move? No. But that's far more important. For us, human body is the same. We can see this kind of physical structure. But I cannot see how you think, what your dream looks like. Because this too small to be seen. So this is the part Pythalogin works. The invisible part. The software part. This will be more familiar to most of you. Energy medicine. This is a, this is a very popular word. So it's all about energy. If you ever try Pythalogin, the area slept will get warmer or colder. Yeah, it always get warmer. Even the housewife, when you do the kitchen stuff, you, you wash the dishes. Which one is better, warm water or cold water? Yeah, the warm water will be easier, right? To do the cleaning thing. So when you do the pyodon and the lodging, your temperature will increase. So healing will happen at the same time. It's all about energy. You've got more energy, the healing will be more effective. Another phenomenon you will notice that the more pain you have, the more temperature you increase. So in a way, the, the more pain, the better the healing. Then why self-healing? To be frank with you, all healing is self-healing. Even if you are treated by doctors, the healing happens still by yourself or by itself. That's a system everyone is born with. You don't have to seek from outside. Okay, Doctors are only a system. They can help you, okay? But healing by itself. Then why Pythalogin? We have so many different ways to enhance your life, to heal yourself. You can do yoga, you can do tai chi, you can play tennis, you know, golfing, play soccer, all the ways, yeah. 
But why Paidalajin? In fact, Paidalajin is not what I learned at the beginning. I learned economics when I was in college. Then I came to the United States to study for MBA. Then I worked in Wall Street and Hong Kong for more than 10 years. It's all about finance. It has nothing to do with the healing thing. At age of 40, I quit from finance, started my journey in search of good healers in order to, in order to write a book, a fiction book. So I started my journey. But the first healer I found, which is excellent, who is good, is for acupressure. It's, it's doing acupressure. Only use your fingers, not even the needles. So I learned it for one month. Excellent healing. But people got stroke, only a few days, seven days, they walk home. So it's excellent. Then I learned acupuncture, another month. I learned for one month. Next month, I already healed 1,600 people, which is excellent healing. Yet, as time went by, I discovered the better the healing, the more people come to rely on you. They don't do anything on themselves. I realized this is not going to be a solution because people won't change. So I, I, I thought to myself, okay, if I could find a thing that is simpler, better healing, everyone can do it. So I closed down my studio and I started my journey again. This time I discovered Paida Lajin. Paida Lajin was the difference between these two and all the other methods. Number one, you do it yourself. See, there are many natural therapies. They are very good, but it has to be done by someone else or the people who have been trained professionally. But this, everyone can do it. It's so simple. And secondly, it works. At the beginning, it works. We realized on the knee pain, frozen shoulders, lower back pain. Then what happened? See, when I, how did I learn this? i tell you a story. I met a Taoist who told us a story, a group of people. He said, okay, one day I met a lady who's a chef in a monastery, could hardly walk, pain here. So th this lady came to this Taoist for healing. She asked, could you help me? The Taoist said, I can teach you a way. You can do it by yourself. Just let me here." Maybe in two or three days, you will, you know, you will be okay. So next day, the lady came to him again, asked him, could you help me? So the Taoist asked, ask her, did you do slapping here? The answer is, are you kidding? So the lady thinks, he's joking. How could this heal people? This time, the Taoist said, okay, last time I said it took a few days. This time I said, only one day. But... You have to do this non-stop, as long as you can, as many hours you can do. You just do it. So this lady this time got seriously doing for a whole night. So early in the morning, she knocked on the Taoist the door. <laughs> he opened the door. The lady said, it's all peach dark here. It's all dark. Then the Taoist smiled. Can you walk now with the pain? It's still there? She said, I could run now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the story is like what I'm telling you now. You heard the story? Oh, it's funny, it's good. It's just a story. For me, it's not just a story. I went back to Beijing. I get all these patients, clients together. I said, you do this pyrologin. Excellent healing. Then they told me, they said, oh, it's because you are still using acupuncture, acupressure. I said, okay, now I stop using acupuncture, Bone setting, acupressure, I stopped all of them. I only worked as a supervisor. You do it, I supervise you. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, non-stop. What are the results? The healing is much, much, much better than, you know, than the way I use acupuncture or other things. Why? Because this time you have fully, fully utilized your own heart. The power from your heart is the strongest, it's the most powerful. So your whole body will follow your heart. Heart is the king of your whole body. What other power 
even love is also from your heart. See? So when you do it by yourself, it's totally different from being healed by others. So at the beginning is the pain problem, then followed by diabetes, hypertension, then it's by cancer. Liver cancer, lung cancer, diabetes, stroke, breast cancer, all kinds of people think this is nonsense. I say, don't ask me, I cannot have so many diseases. When I say it's good or not, th this kind of disease have to be checked by the doctors, by the hospitals, not by me. You tell me whether it's good or not. So they checked, checked, it's just all out of their imagination. So the healing is much better. My mother is a Western medical doctor. She took medication for over 30 years because she had heart disease, hypertension, lower back pain, kidney problems, eye problems, all this, you name it. But medicine every day. So I asked her, how long are I going to take the medicine? <laughs> the answer is, <laughs> until I die. So every day. I told her, this is not this is not healing. This is drug addiction. You have to take the drug every day. Of course, how could she believe me, a finance guy? She's a doctor, Western medical doctor. But at long last, she couldn't resist the temptation of my workshop because many of our mutual friends got healed. So she came to my workshop, seven-day workshop. From that day on until now, six years, zero tablet. But her heart condition, hypertension, lower back pain, kidney problem, it's all gone. Even her eye problem. She was about to have a surgery. She asked me, she was arguing with me. Okay, this is good. Pied out here, here. Can we slap on our eyes? I said, yes, of course you can slap on your eyes. She did. One month later, it's all gone. So she canceled the eye surgery. So the healing effect is good. This is another reason. Number three, it's simple. How many of you learned yoga or tai chi or any other methods? And you know how long it takes. Years, at least months. And how long does it take to learn Pai Da La Jin? One minute. It's just that simple. One minute, or even less. For La Jin, you can just lie on a bench. The, technically, it's nothing. Old and young, man or woman, you can do it. Yeah. So, number four, it's safe. No side effect. But after practicing for a while, many people come back and say, we do have some side effect. Number one side effect, lose a lot of weight. 10 kilos, even 20 kilos, that's a lot. Number two, skin becomes more beautiful. The spots are gone. <laughs> Number three, more dramatically, when I was in the United States, once I did a seminar like this in Pasadena, near LA, one chiropractor, she said, can I do my testimony? I said, yes, please. She said, I, I put a lodging bench in my clinic for all those my clients. I ask them to do the lodging first. Then a little bit of Paida, then I do my bone setting stuff. So I, I made the investigation to put the list. What is the number one healing effect? The number one healing effect is increasing their sex lives. <laughs> so that is the number three side effect. See, what is the side effect? Losing weight, make you more beautiful, increase your sex life, sex life period. Or some people lose their hair, so the hair grows up. That's another side effect. So all so-called side effect is true. Why do I say side effect? Because this is not what we target. It just happened after you know doing pythalazine. So number five is used everywhere, in every department. So if you go to hospital, there are many different divisions. But pythalazine, we have only one division, that is pythalazine. Period. So in our workshop, 40, 50 people. All different ages, different problems, but we all do the same thing. Yet it works on all. Last, low cost. Sometimes even no cost, because if you do it yourself, it's free. See, if you look at this column, this is a typical result from our seven day workshop. This is like three, three years ago. See, this is all different names. 
but in a workshop, we all do the same thing. So this is why I say forget about disease names. We'll talk more about that. People will argue. It's OK in a workshop, but what if they go home? Is it still there, the kind of healing effect? This is our investigation. I said, I don't know. I have to ask people. Of those 300 people close, OK, 85% still do pedalizing at home after leaving the workshop, OK? And of those who are still doing the pedalizing, 93% stop the medication. So I would say average 80% of the people stop medication. Just imagine, in this country, if 80% of the population stop medication, what a beautiful world would that be? Huh? Some people would be happy, some people would not be. <laughs> <laughs> and then they will argue, what about their health condition if they stop medication? It's very simple. It's much better than the time they took medication. Okay, the worst case is the 7%. They keep the same level as before, but this is really a big increase. Why? For example, if their blood pressure keeps the same, but it's different. Before they want to keep this level, they took medication. But now they take no more medication. So you can still see that's an increase. Okay. Who designed this system? Why it works so well? Because if, if you take this body, software, hardware, it's designed by an engineer. This engineer is God, or Allah, or super beam. Whatever, whatever name you give it, doesn't matter. That kind of super beam. So everyone is born with this. The issue is we forget it, or we even desert it. So it's there, useless. So when we do Pythalajin, we are not doing the healing God does. It's a divine healing. What we do is merely activating the system. I'll tell you another story when we come to the God thing. This is a report from the Diabetes Institution, Research Institution from India. This is our India workshop, okay? This is the conclusion. Oh, by the way, this is all written not by me. This is by the professional Western medical doctors. Number one message is good for di di type 2. Of course, the majority of the diabetes problem are type 2. Okay, excellent healing. By the way, when I say the healing effect is either they stop all insulin or medication or they reduce a lot. Otherwise, you cannot check whether it works or not. So, because this is all supervised by, by the doctors, okay? What about diabetic 1? It's the same, but it's more sensitive. Sometimes they have to take a little bit of insulin. By the way, in the seven-day workshop we just finished in Bulgaria, one lady from England, diabetic 1, just in that seven days, her insulin already reduced by half. I show you her, you know, her testimonial. Hypertension, it's a piece of cake. And all kinds of so-called heart diseases. They have many different names for heart diseases. Okay. It's all excellent healing. Number five, all the other pain problems, lower back pain, knee pain, even Krishna Swami, who is the doctor's name, he said, he used my word, oh, this is a piece of cake. What about the Parkinson? He said, this is more difficult than the diabetic one. Why? He said, no one in the world can declare they can stop the medication. Because once you take medicine, you cannot stop. But for this, we have two Parkinson's disease body. These two, one of them began to walk. The other one couldn't talk. After doing pedalizing, he could talk now. Of course, they stopped all their medic medication. Number seven, all of them. All of them, 100%, their energy are more than doubled, no matter what kind of condition you are in. So your energy will get doubled. Yeah. This is on their local newspaper, OK? That's Dr. Krishna Swami. There is a story about this. At the beginning, I was invited to give the doctors a seminar like this. 
and okay, they say, okay, this is good. We heard so much about this kind of different things. We have many, many natural therapists here. They say, okay, when I do the demonstration, oh, when I do the seminar, every time I would invite people from the audience to try the pythologin <laughs> because they're all doctors. They say, okay, what do we have most here in the hospital are, doctor, uh, are, are patients. So they led me to a room where they got a very tough case. One lady lying in bed for two months, couldn't walk, couldn't even stand. So okay, Pythologin, all together 40, 45 minutes. Then the lady began to walk. They were all shocked. So this doctor, he invited me to his office and he put something like this on my head, on my neck. Then he said, okay, three months later, four months later, because that's in November, he said, next March, we're going to have an anniversary of our institute. Can I invite you to do a seminar and then a, short, a, a five day workshop? I said, yeah, please. So that's how it happened. It's a very short notice because he needs to find some sponsor for this. This is all the local newspapers. Okay. These are some of the reports from those patients. This is a diabetic report from Macau. This gentleman came to a workshop because he was desperate. Three times insulin every day. He was dying, of course, combined with many other problems. So he came to our workshop, in day, he discovered from the internet. In day two or day three, it's all normalized. Of course, before coming to the workshop, he practiced for a month or so. It worked, but it's not totally normalized. It's lowered a lot from 17, 15 to 8 or 9, but not to 5 or 6 yet. So in day two or day three, it's all normalized. What happened? He went home, he would slap everyone he met. <laughs> he was a he was a truck driver. Now he, long ago he quit from his job and he started his own business as a slapping. <laughs> 500 Hong Kong dollars per hour. So it's a big deal. It's almost like a lawyer's charge. Even the, even the doctors and the nurses wait in line to be slapped by him. He's very famous now, yeah. This is another diabetes report from Auckland. I don't even know people, these people. I don't even know now. They just sent me, oh, Dr. Shah, Master Shah, we, we got healed. This is great. This is a funny one. This is a bypass, okay, from Malaysia. This gentleman came to the hospital for surgery, bypass surgery. Then Indian doctor, it's an Indian doctor, checked before the surgery. What happened? All this uh, last month, it's all blocked. Now it's all cleared. This poor gentleman, 70 years old, he said, no, my sister came to my home and she slapped me for a whole month. And he showed him all the sa. So the Indian doctor said, okay, I'm very glad to inform you. This surgery is canceled. So it's canceled. <laughs> so they gave me this report. Rheumatoid arthritis. This is another funny case. I didn't know what all this about. This lady told me Everywhere joint is pain. Even here is pain. So she came to our, she's from Hong Kong, but she came to our Malaysia workshop. Seven days excellent healing. Then she went back home. She locked herself in a room for one month. She would spend 10 hours a day slapping and stretching. So I asked her, why so much time? The answer is because I'm desperate. Because all the doctors told her the same thing. You just go back home. <laughs> it's like waiting to die. No solution. So when she came back, even one chancellor of a, hospital, uh, one chancellor of a university, also a doctor, he said, I can't believe you unless you show me the report. So she did. This is the report. See? Positive to negative within one year. So this time that doctor really believed. This is a funny story. This is the Consul General in, of Italy for Zurich, Switzerland, because the Chinese community borrowed the Italian Consul's auditorium for seminar, for doing a seminar. So he came to listen to my speech too. After the seminar, we went together to an Italian restaurant to, you know, to eat together. And he asked me, I got tennis elbow for years, it's pain. Is this okay with the pythologin? 
I said, it's a piece of cake. We can resolve your problem right now at the dining table. So he was slapped for like 15 minutes. Oh, he said, the pain is gone. I said, okay, it's time to drink Italian wine. He said, no, wait, I have another one. <laughs> so we slapped him twice. <laughs> this is the one with the surgery, okay? This is in Sagan, also in Switzerland. Also in a seminar like this. She got one knee replaced already, two or three years ago. One week later, she was about to have another surgery. I said, okay, he, she came here with the walking stick. You might get a chance to avoid the surgery. So we did pile that large in on the spot. Then she began to dance like an angel. So one year later, I went there again and asked her, did you have the surgery? Of course not. So you can see, it's easy to avoid the surgery. What if you already have surgery? This is from a, from a German doctor. This lady, this German doctor attended my workshop. So she invited me to her clinic, giving me the tough cases. This is one of them. After surgery, the lady still got the pain. What to do? I said, just slap. Where to slap? On the scar area. It's just slap on that, you see? I said, I did this side, you did the other side, on both sides. Just slap. Half an hour later, <laughs> the pain is gone. Varicous vein. This is even simpler. You just slap on the varicose vein. Very, very simple. This is also a German lady, but she worked in uh, South Africa. This is in uh, South Africa. What about stroke? See the stroke? Somehow they have a photo like this. This is why we have photo in the following. Because yeah. normally we didn't have this kind of photo. See, he came to the workshop on the wheelchair. In day five, he could walk. But of course, not as normal as a, as a normal person, at least the life quality increased a lot. <coughs> or titties, all kind of, because many people ask me the infection. Infection, I will tell you this way, is even better. Physical infection, all kind of infectious diseases you can also slap. I'll show you a video later from South Africa. <coughs> Alzheimer's, excellent healing. This is in the San Francisco old age home. What is Alzheimer's? Because there are so many symptoms they can hardly label, so they use the name Alzheimer. They lose their memory, they cannot see well, they cannot heal well, cannot work well. So it's like a degeneration of all the functions of the body. So for the old people, you just teach them how to play a game. Ah, they slap on each other. It's like, like the kids in the kid kindergarten, they do it every day. Then you check. They can see better, they can hear better, they can talk better, their memory is much better. It's like almost 100% effect. When I say effective, compared with before. I never say they can get 100% recovered, that's no way. But you can see their life quality increased a lot. They could see better, eat better, sleep better. What's the best way to learn this in the workshop? Because for the other things, you can do it. You know, you can read from the internet or the, the, the books. But this is a doing thing. You have to do it. If you don't go through the pain to slap and to be slapped, it's very hard for you to understand what is pain, what is healing, what is healing crisis. And in, a, in, a, in our seven-day workshop, we even do three days fasting. And every day we do meditation twice, in the morning and the e in the evening. So it's a company, combination of many, many self-healing methods. What about emergency cases? I think at least this is something you learned and will be valuable to you throughout your lifetime. Number one, it's good for all heart attacks. Heart attack. Many people, I would say most of the people in this world, don't think they have a heart disease. I said, you all have a heart disease. How do you check it out? It's just like, you get a pain, you get sore, you got a heart disease. While most of people don't think they have one until the heart attack happens. See, this, this is something you have to face. Okay, now the issue is simple. Whenever a heart attack happens, the mainstream method is CPR. 
I didn't know the word CPR until three years ago, I think, in Seattle. Two doctors attended our workshop. They, they saw with their own eyes two people collapsed because of heart attack. They said, oh, 911. I said, forget it. You just slept here. So they slept here for like five, ten minutes. Then people normalized. Then another man heart attack, boom. They said, oh, slap again. So in the following days, many healing crises, people don't take it as they still do their own job, just someone to help them slap here. So far, okay, I, I'm not sure about future. The success rate for saving heart attack, 100%. Including in the workshop, the cases, in the airplane, on the train, in the street, everywhere, even in the hospital. Because some of the, some of our <laughs> people like you, they learn here, they immediately rush to the hospital to save their parents, you know. One dramatic example, one lady, she got a heart attack and 20 years chronic, you know, migraine, it's all done, just in once. So one day she had, okay, her mother was hospitalized because of heart attack, diabetes. She just rushed to the hospital. But the hospital, her mother's room is on 17th floor. What happened? Her mother was lying there, couldn't even talk. She began to slap. Of course, the doctors say, how could you do this? This lady is from Sichuan province, very tough. This is my mother. I'm going to be responsible for everything. So the doctor said, okay, fine. You just, this is your, this is your mother who slept. Just in one hour after doing this, or two hours, her mother walked down 17 floors, then walked back 17 floors. You know what happened? Because in the room, there are many other patients. They all lined up to be slapped. So because she wrote us a testimonial and even with the photo, she said in the last moment, because I, I, I got something else to do, so I went to the lift to go. At the lift, she said, I was stopped by two more persons. They said, you've got to slap us, there you go. <laughs> so it's just so simple. So for heart attack, extremely useful. The lady who just organized the Bulgaria workshop, because she migrated to South Africa, immigrated, okay, she attended my South Africa workshop twice. So she said, I'm going to rush back to Bulgaria to do this on my mother. On the way from South Africa to Turkey, on the, on the plane, someone got a heart attack, boom. So the crew members began to, oh, any doctors, you know, who come to help? No doctors. So she appeared to say, okay, I may help. Just slap here and here. That's it. Maybe a few minutes, but the captain appeared. So you cannot do it because you are not a doctor. But at that moment, that gentleman woke up. So you see the point? This lady almost illegally saved this person. The captain almost legally killed the person. <laughs> it's very funny. So for heart attack, stroke. Many people think stroke is here. No, stroke is also heart attack. Now to be even further, all the dangerous cases, when they get unconscious or you know, fainted, forget about disease names. Maybe it's a diabetes or hypertension or cancer, forget it. You just slap here and here, okay? This is very useful. Some people say, okay, oh, if they learn, they can do it by themselves, believe me. At that moment, if you are the person who, got a heart, who has a heart attack, you can do nothing. So you'd better teach your friends and relatives, see, if I, in case I got a heart attack, please slap here, slap here. Another typical case is from a Western medical doctor. This lady wrote me. She said, I worked in hospital, I'm a doctor for nine years. Every time I use CPR, for nine years, I saved zero. All of them died anyway. But this time in the sports meet, a 21-year college girl fell, heart attack. She said, this time I didn't use CPR, I used slapping. Because that lady lost breathing, no breathing anymore, no pulse here. She said, I did 45, 40 minutes. She was saved, came back to life. 
Then several months later, she wrote me another testimony. She says, a 70-year-old grandma, boom, heart attack at home. In the home, only the granddaughter, maybe 10 or 11 years old. The little girl didn't know what to do. So the little girl called her mother. So her mother, remote control with a mobile. You just slap your grandmother's here and here. So the lady did. So the grandma was saved. So when the emergency people came, the rescue people, they said, oh, if you didn't do this, your grandma could have been dead. So it's, you can see how simple it is. Of course, for the high attitude sickness, period pain, period pain, you just slap here. Of course, more dramatically, you can just use stretching. Large in, you can just lie on, on a bench, very easy. And for the headache, for the diarrhea, stomach, you can always slap here. We got a more de detailed description in the book and also in the, in the internet. You can check it out by yourself. Another side effect. China, we have a word. See, if you're whole here, they say this is called a Mediterranean area. <laughs> it's all bald. <laughs> so after doing this, all the hair grows up. Another side effect, lose weight. This gentleman came to the workshop because of gout, pain, hypertension, high blood pressure. After doing this, the problems are gone, but he lost like 15 or 20 kilos. That's a lot. These are the key concepts for self-healing. Number one, forget about disease names. Actually, at the beginning I said, all diseases are caused by one thing. What is that? Do you still remember? Blockage. Blockage, yeah. Blockage of meridian, right? So the names are not so important. Sometimes they even mislead it. For example, if you have diabetes, oh, you focus on lowering the sugar level. But if you're given the name diabetes, that means you've got not, not only the sugar level. Sugar level is only one of the many symptoms because you have blockages on your kidney, liver, heart, stomach, gut, gallbladder, almost all of them have block this, then why do you focus on only the sugar level while ignoring all the other blockages? That is not very smart. So you'd better do what we call carpet bombing. You do every single cell, single meridian. For the diabetic people, another phenomenon is they all have heart disease. They don't know. How do you show? How do you demonstrate? You slap here. They have a very severe side here. And if you slap here, you see their gallbladder, their stomach, all have problems. All this can be demonstrated right, right now if you slap. Okay, so that's why I, I call all the disease a new name, complex disease, which means, read my lips, okay? If you're given a name, let's say diabetes or hypertension, that means you have more diseases than the one you are given. Maybe you have 10 or even 20 diseases, but you don't know. Where does the name come from? It's like a joke. In history, we don't have a name like high blood pressure. But one day someone invented a machine that can check your, high, your blood pressure. Then you are given the name called high blood pressure or low blood pressure. Some years later, someone invented another machine that can check your sugar level. Then you have a new name called diabetes then that kind of things can go on forever. You've got new equipment, new criteria, then you've got new disease names, okay? So all diseases are complex diseases, which means you have more diseases than the one you are given. So you should do all of them. In one word, holistic healing. But if you use medicine, every medicine is like a bullet. They have a target. They have to serve some function. So a target will reach, a bullet will reach a target. They will do it anyway at the cost of damaging anything. So this is why you have side effect. While luckily, self-healing system is not a medicine. It's a system. This system has no target. It will just automatically adjust the whole system in your body, unblocking the blockages. Okay. So we call it antivirus software. You ha have you heard the word MRI? See, in the machine, or CT. See, in the hospital, 
they use this to scan your body, but that is with the digital, okay? But now if you do pyrotalagin, you are doing an automatic organic MRI because your chi or your energy will scan your whole body when you do this. Circulate is much faster. But this time it's all organic because you don't use any digital from outside world. It's all the digitals inside of you, okay? So wherever it is blocked, you will encounter all kinds of non-sore, whatever. This is what we call healing crisis. So healing crisis is a big deal. It's probably the most difficult concept to understand. In some part of the world, they call it good reaction, but appears in a bad way. For example, if there is a river here, in rainy season, there will be flooding, right? So the dammed area, the blocked area, will face much bigger pressure, which can be even used to generate electricity. So you can see that's energy, right? So the same thing happened if you take the meridians in our body as a kind of river. When we do the pyodan lajin, the qi circulation, the energy circulates much faster, stronger. So the blocked area, which is also the diseased area, will face much bigger pressure. Thus, you will feel the pain, sore, numb, burping, farting, vomiting, all kinds of strange things will happen. That means all the diseases are shown, are reviewed. So this is very important. When we say you've got a healing crisis, that means you have the disease already. If you don't have this disease, you will never have this healing crisis. So many people will think, oh, my case are getting worse. I, my blood pressure is getting higher. Sugar level is higher. God, pain is even bigger. Believe me, this is part of the healing. This is why we say healing crisis or healing reactions. Because when the yin and the yang are fighting with each other, of course, that kind of pain would be even bigger. Your body would be like a battlefield. So you will have to feel everything, so which is good. So don't take the bonus or gift as a punishment. This is something good. It's like mining. If there is oil underneath, you dig, the oil will flow up. If there's no oil, even if you dig for 100 years, nothing will happen. So when we say healing crisis, that means you already have that disease. Even the pain, okay, I talk about pain. Pain, people, most of the people on this planet, they hate pain. Oh, pain, I don't like it. Pain is one of the best gifts from the superpower, from the being, from the God. Why? Number one, Throughout your life, pain protects you from all kinds of danger. If there is hot, boiling water, fire, pain, you stay away. Even the kids learn. You learn from all kinds of pain, right? Number two, pain is the most accurate diagnosis. Wherever you meet a pain, that means it's a disease. So you've got pain when you're doing this. Don't blame others. That means you've got a problem here. So. It's better than any other equipment you ever met on this world. All the other equipment are artificial. Only this equipment is your own equipment. It's made by God. So it's very accurate. So whenever you have pain, that means you find, it's like a GPR, uh, uh, GPS. It's very accurate. So it's good for you. Number three, pain is also healing. See, when you've got pain, first of all, you go, okay, you know this is a problem. Number two, the healing already happens. See, during the pain, you get warmer and warmer, right? That means you're young. Yang qi, or the energy is increasing. The energy increasing, increasing. When the energy increases, the fixing or the healing happens. When I was in Bulgaria, one of their most famous yoga teachers asked me the question. He said, according to the Chinese and the Western philosophical thinking, wherever your mind or your heart goes, your energy will go. Why do we do the pyrotalagin? You just think. I got a knee problem, I think knee. I said, yeah, that's a very good question. But how can you control your heart? Even give you one minute. Say, in this one minute, you think nothing. Can you do it? Let's say half a minute. Can you do it? Your mind, your heart is always thinking, thinking. This is why we have pyrotalagin. Why? Because of the pain. Wherever you have the pain, 
All your energy will focus on that area. So the healing happens. Can you imagine you're doing here? Very painful. Your mind is all very painful. Oh, what about the stock market? <laughs> no, it's up or down. No, it's all pain. So the pain is like a target. Everything will happen during the pain. Wherever the pain is located, your heart will feel it. Your king. King is regarded as the king of the kingdom. So we say the king, after feeling the pain, will relocate all the resources of the kingdom to help you without pain area. So pain is diagnosing, is also healing. Fourthly, pain is also preventive. You don't have to wait. The disease become really serious. Whenever you start, it's always preventing. So even the Western, the mainstream medicine have the same conclusion as the oriental medicine. Preventing is more important than healing, right? So why do you have to wait? You can do it now. You don't have to wait. Oh, heart attack happens. See, when I say, by the way, you have heart disease, that doesn't mean you're going to die tomorrow because that only means a blockage. You may, you may have a 20%, 40% blockage. Not serious. But you, you may also reach 70, 80, or even high percentage of blockage. But at that time, it's already dangerous. We have many cases like this in our workshop. They say, I got a heart attack. So send to the hospital. Even in the hospital, they check, check everywhere. They say, oh, your heart is good. You see the point there? So this is a very interesting phenomenon. More than half, more than half of the heart attack or heart disease cannot be checked out in the hospital. Now, people argue with me, oh, doctors, after checking this, told me I don't have a heart disease. Why do you say I have a heart disease? I say you have two options. One, you believe in the report from the doctor. But I can tell you that is not from the doctor. That is from a piece of machine. You can believe it. Now option two, you slap here. You can, if you feel the pain, you see the shot, you got a heart disease. Let's say you have a heart attack now. Does this mean your heart disease is formed right now? No. It's in the past 30, 40, or even 50 years throughout your life. So even if you don't have a problem, serious problem, you can still do pyelodging, which is good. Why do some people have better healing than others while do pyelodging, while doing pyelodging? Because their heart is more peaceful. It's so, this is from a, a book called Zero Limit. Okay, these four sentences are very powerful. When you do the pyelodging, we always ask people to close your eyes. It's like doing a meditation. You can have a dialogue with your body. Just say these four sentences. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Because you are the one who is responsible for your own diseases, your own body. This is in Tibet. This lady was dying. So we just slept. So the husband said, okay, I know how to save my wife now. Before, when I went to Tibet, I used acupuncture, acupressure. I could only deal with 100 people per day. I was exhausted. But now you give me 1,000, 10,000 people. It doesn't matter. I don't have to do it. I just teach you to do it. So they're all happily doing this. You can see. This is like a piece of painting. People say, who painted this? <laughs> oh, this, this is a result of slapping. A piece of art. You ask a lady, more than 20, 40 years of pain. Lower back pain, knee pain. It's just gone. By the way, I have many friends who are top level acupuncturists. Or chiropractors. I would ask them a question. Look at this. If you use acupuncture, needles, can you get this kind of sa out of your body? They say, no. I say, okay, no more question. What about the breasts? At the beginning, when ladies wrote to me, asked me, can we slap on the breasts? I say, okay, I have no idea. The other parts I could try on myself, but not for the breast one. But then one day I got an email from a lady who told me, she got a tumor as, as big as a neck. You can feel, she, she could feel it. She said, I began to slap on it. Very painful. But then, a lot of bruise, a lot of sha. She did continuously for less than one month. 
the tumor became smaller and smaller until it totally disappeared. So I put her testimony on my blog. From that day on, people all over the world, whoever read the article, they began to do the slapping on the breast. Then we realized slapping on the breast is not only good for healing the breast tumors or cancer. It's good for all kinds of diseases like your hypertension, your heart disease, thyroid problem, wombs problem, all kinds of problems because there are altogether nine meridians going through breast. Even the stomach goes through the breast, so you, which is good for, for your whole body. See, the ladies, when you have the period pain, let's say, at that time, your breasts will also feel something, feel swollen or sometimes a little bit of pain. You can see the meridians are linked not just with one part, it's with your whole body. So once you do this, you will heal many, many different parts of your body or different diseases. What about bleeding? 99% when you do PIDA, you won't get bleed. But maybe you get 1% chance. That being the case, the healing is even better. So whenever you've got bleeding, bleeding is a natural therapy used in almost all people all over the world. But for PIDA, it's not for bleeding. The bleeding method, they use the knife to cut, to let blood out. But for us, it all happens naturally. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, you don't have to chase for it. But for some people, like heart disease, they slap here. Oh, blood in here. You can see the blood. Then I say you go to check. The blood pressure drop immediately. And the headache is also gone. Why? Because that means your body tells you the best way to alleviate your problem is let it broken. So as I said just now, no destruction, no construction. But this kind of destruction happens automatically. You don't ask for it. If it happens, it happens. But in some cases, you'd better slap until it is broken, especially for the ser serial, serious skin disease like psoriasis. Very big deal. It does less. It's broken. So the poisonous liquid and the blood will get out. It's still, keep on slapping. Then you, get, you will form a new skin. Then the problem will be gradually gone. See, this is German. Right? This is in Faye. Faye is one of my students who lives in Dortmund. She does this workshop regularly. Yeah. That's in Lesotho. That's a dramatic case in Singapore. You can see the audience is 1,000 people. This is the first time in Singapore. Again, I said, OK, anyone with the lower back pain, knee pain, come to the stage. So this 70-year-old gentleman with two sticks, he came up. After doing this pedal lighting, you see, 1,000 people, silent. They want to see the result. If he could walk without sticks, that means it worked. So now you can see. The two, he was lining up for my second chair. So you see the two sticks in his hand. Okay, the real happening was even more dramatic because on that day, he was not walking, he was running. See here, he, when he was up, he was helped by two people. After a while, he was running. Then he became Bruce Lee. That surprised me. I said, how could you do this? One year, two years later, I went to Singapore again. I saw this gentleman sitting in the front line. I said, oh, you are here. Why don't you come up? You know, the newspapers appeared. He, he kept them. He wrapped them up with the plastics. So now he showed everyone, see, this is me. And two or three years later, perfect to shape. So I gave him an interview. He told me, that's the day. This is so dramatic. He was supposed to go to have a surgery in the hospital. But somehow he was guided to the venue where I was given a seminar. That's in Tibet. See now, Tibetan people, they can happily slap themselves. I even gave a seminar to Taiwan's Congress. So this also became a political issue. The doctors are strongly against this. You see? Very interesting. That's in Taiwan University. That's in Oneness University. That's in India. Because all the students are from all over the world. So it's very happy to slap every day. 
That's in Singapore. Malaysia, every day, many people doing this in the square. Penang, you see, always crowded. Many families or people who do the natural therapies, they set up just large benches and do this. It's like a carnival, it's like a party, you know. I told you in Paris, I did one party because the French people like wine and cheese. Okay, can we eat this? I said, yeah. So they put the wine, you know, cheese, they pile the large in, then they drink, oh, chat, then you do it again, you see. It's, it's a very funny party. That's a company. It's a shipping company because the general manager of this company, his hypertension, his gout problem all gone. He was told by the doctor, you cannot eat seafood, meat, wine, blah, blah. He said, I lost my life. So his friend is also my friend, unless you do pie lodging. So he did. Now he, could, he can do one leg for lodging one hour. So every morning, he would spend two hours doing stretching. Then he go to his company. So he invited me to give his middle-level managers a lecture. This is all the middle-level managers. This is a legend of Malaysia. This is Mr. Huang. He took medication for 39 years because of his hypertension. So after doing pathologin, he stopped all medicine. This is his home, you see. He virtually turned his home into a small hospital. Maximum 73 people came to his home in, one, in the same day. So every day he said, after I got off from my job, my house full of people slapping, stretching. <laughs> he said, I'm not healer, you just do it by yourself. But now this room is too big, oh, too small. So now they rent a room a little bit bigger than this. Every week they would have a party. That's in Switzerland. That's in Hamburg. That's also in Germany. This is a one-day workshop. That's in Bosch, in Stuttgart, and another place. I give this company 13 seminars. Because right now it's a big deal for all the people working with the computer. Everyone more or less has neck problem, frozen shoulders, lower back pain, or insomnia. So you just put a lodging bench in the office. Every two hours, you do a little bit of stretching. All the, you know, see, employers also love it because their work efficiency higher, their sick leaves are gone, you see, all are happy. Oh, by the way, even there, I mean, the money paid for the insurance, the bill would be also lowered. Even before my departure at that time, that's for Deutsche Telekom. Given another, that's in Frankfurt, near some place. Oh, this is my first time to go to a mosque. I've never been to a mosque before. So on the way to <laughs> South Africa, because the Indian Muslim came to Germany and Switzerland, he attended twice. The second time, he brought his father. So two weeks ago, we just had another two-day workshop in London. That's also organized by the Muslim group. So the Muslim people would pray on their knee every day. But some people have knee problems, the older people. So after doing this, the knee problem, just a piece of cake, so easy. Of course, di diabetes problem, hypertension, yeah, see? So it's, it's a big deal. They, said, they told me they have a big hospital in Mumbai. Someday they would invite me to go there to give them a seminar. That's in South Africa. <laughs> old age home. Now see this, the testimonials from the old people. It's more or less the same problem. Lower back pain, knee pain, then diabetes, heart disease, hypertension. Oh, also for old, old people. The urine problem. They would go to toilets many times. And for the gentleman, it's called prostate problem. It's a piece of cake. We have already several prostate cancer already. It's all cured by slaving and the stretching. This is all the Soweto, this is Mandela's hometown. I'll give you another interesting video later. South Africa. This is His Majesty King of Lesotho. He is probably the healthiest one. I give him a private session in his palace. <laughs> and he did very well. Okay. This is the Archbishop. Low, the knee pain for many years. One hour later, it's gone. And he asked me a question Why it's so magical? I said, because I'm not a healer. 
God is the healer. He said, why? I said, look, look at your body. The software, hardware, who made this? Of course, God, or whatever name, the super being. Okay, I give a typical example to show how it works. If you drive a car, you just put the key in, turn it, engine starts, right? But the car maker must have made everything easily available for you, for both software and hardware. Now for the human body, is the same. The super being, the super being has made everything for us, but we don't use it. Now for doing Python logic, you just put the key in, turn it on. Because the system is all automatic. So forget about the names. You just do it. They will figure out. So he invited me. This is all in the Catholic. Because he said, oh, actually he said, why didn't you teach the doctors to do it? I said, doctors don't like anything without medicine. He said, we have a Catholic hospital. You want to do it? Yeah. So this is the Catholic nursing school. And also this is a St. Joseph Hospital. This is all the Catholic. So I give the, this is all the doctors. They are trying this too. This is also the Swiss doctors. Some of them are Chinese doctors, some of them are Western medical doctors. So my dream is not make myself a healer, but make all of you a healer of yourself. Otherwise, this is a mission impossible. Just by medicine, that's impossible. The best medicine is in yourself, pain medicine. These are the areas we always begin with, okay? Always with elbows, hands, knees, and feet from top to the bottom. See? Elbows, knees. Of course, it's all around knees, not just the front, but also the back and side, and hands and feet. Now, La Jin. La means stretch. Jin means ligament. If you look at a newly born baby, a baby is so soft, right? But as time goes by, the baby grows older and older. His or her body becomes harder and harder. We get very old, even hunchbacked. So you can see from the natural observation, when you want to be healthier, live longer, you stretch to make your ligaments softer and longer. See a 96-year-old lady? can do this. Why? Because she does this every day. Several year, years ago, it, she was like, stop many times on the way home because she lives in a mountainous area. But now, non-stop. Every day, several times, Lajin and the Paida because they don't have to do the work. As they say, Paida Lajin is my job. Even my mother, who is 80 years now, every day, Paida Lajin. What's your job, Paida Lajin? And then she also teaches other people to do it. This is a 70, oh no, this is a 60, not even 70 years. This is a scientist from Germany. This is my friend. See, this kind of position we call it shrimp. It's like a shrimp. Everywhere is bended. This is the 40 and the 50 years. See, even worse, this in the workshop. See, we are put on the lodging bench, that's the best way to diagnose what kind of problem. We don't have to give you the names. We just tell you, oh, your legs, arms are, are blocked. For the child, it's always easier. Tendon contraction, these are the phenomena or symptoms showing you all these different diseases. Even if you catch cold, you do a lodging, it will be different. So in one word, Diseases, all diseases are related with the gene sore contraction. So whenever you do lodging, it's a holistic healing from head to toe. It's good for all problems. At the beginning, we used the chairs, but then we realized it's difficult to, f to fix, to put, you know, the knees if they're bended. So we'd better use a, a bandage to fi fix them up. So now more and more people are doing this. That's also from Malaysia. That's in Germany. Every morning, many people do this. Another way is simple. Don't use pillows. That's already lodging, stretching. 
because all the people work with a neck like this, no matter with a computer or in the kitchen. So if you don't use pillow, you're already stretching. It's just flat. So for the past few years, I never use any pillows. And also squatting. Squatting is the most natural way of stretching. But now we are more civilized. We use the flushing toilet. Sit there. We think this is comfortable. But I said, your human right is ripped off. Because at least you have one time a day or maybe even more to stretch yourself. Now it's taken away the right and you think you are civilized. Not only for the stretching, even the Swiss and the Japanese scientists, they discover from other angles, all for the bowel move, movement, for what, there. It's good. But now I told many people who are building the new houses, you want to improve your health? Change your toilet first. <laughs> Take it away, use the most original one. That is also what I call the most organic one. Your bowel movement, much, much better. Okay? See, so many people do it toilet thing together. <laughs> which we do here too, yeah. Another way is standing board. You see there are three steps you can get higher and higher. I know some of you have feet problem. Feel the numb or sore, you use this, also very helpful. See, this is in Pennsylvania, okay, United States. This is all stretching, lying down, standing, squatting. Why do I show all this? You see, these are the exercises you can do it anywhere, anytime. So my methods, show me here, you can conclude with one word. Simple, simple, simple. Simple doesn't mean it's easy to do. See, many people, they say, oh, I cannot do this meditation, too complicated. Tai Chi, too complicated. Why? Too complicated. Now I teach them the simple thing. Oh, I cannot do it. It's too simple. I think one thing you can do, that is you make yourself sick. What about pregnant women? The healing is great. I didn't know that at the beginning. Be cautious. But then the pregnant women came to me. They, during the pregnancy, they have you know, vomiting problem, headache, insomnia, swollen. They just use pytholagin soga. See, this is not only one, the two ladies. This is just one month before the labor, it's all gone. Several more ladies told me their story. Because they did pathology every day during the pregnancy, and when it came to labor, it's like drinking a cup of tea. Half an hour, it's done. You know why? Because, number one, when they do this stretching, the passage becomes more and more flexible. And all the four limbs, that's number one. And also, the baby in the womb, they move together with the mother, even with the paida. Of course, you don't do the paida here. Wherever you do the paida on the four limbs, the baby will feel everything. So they do the paida lajin together with you. At that time, the life is oneness. So another phenomenon is, once the baby is born, we call the paida lajin baby. Very, very healthy. No problem at all. Whenever you do have a problem, because many people ask me the question, what about a baby? Can you do the pythalogy on the baby? The answer is, pythalogy works much, much better on the babies than on the adults. Because, number one, babies' young energy is strong. But more importantly, babies don't have any judgment. They have no education yet. Not brainwashed yet. But for adults, they have tons of reasons. Oh, you cannot do this, you cannot do that, it's dangerous, blah, blah, blah. So many of this negative energy will trade off, get rid of the many positive energy. But for the babies, the 100% absorbed energy given by the parents. So the healing is much better. And for the babies, you don't even have to do the whole area. You just focus on the spine. The whole spine, you do it normally half an hour. Because babies' problems focus on digestion system, and also the breathing system. All the organs are linked with the, with the spine. So you just laugh. Don't have to be hard, just gently, very gently. See? It works. Okay?
the books you got English books and Chinese books we have several copies of English books here this time we didn't put more actually now we also have YouTube and also the Facebook which you can check more okay I think so far this is the basic theory about pythologia any questions <laughs>